What's up, tech fans? So, Windows 11. Mmm, it looks like Microsoft was planning to announce it on June 24th, but somehow or another, there's been a bunch of leaks and there's even a bootable ISO so that you can try a Windows 11 out right now. So what's really different? Well, let's talk tech. So like I said, Microsoft was planning on announcing Windows 11 on June 24th. But for some reason, there's been a leak and now there's an ISO out there that you can download and test and experience Windows 11 even before the launch. Now, before I jump in the video, if you like my style, I'd appreciate it if you'd sub the channel, like and share the video. That would be absolutely great. Now, there will be some changes with Windows 11, and it seems like The Verge has now officially said that Microsoft has said that Windows 10X is dead. Okay, well, I guess that kind of does make sense because Microsoft claimed before that Windows 10 would be the last OS that they ever made. Well, obviously that isn't true and why they would ever even say that, I don't know because what are they gonna do? Stay on Windows 10 forever for the next 20 years or whatever? So, you know, it kind of makes sense that they're having a new OS. Now, officially though, from what I can see, it looks like all Windows 10 support will be canceled in 2025. Now, we've seen this happen in the past with all of our other OS's, 98, ME, Windows 7. You know, after about six or seven years, it seems like Microsoft always comes up with a new OS, and guess what? We're at that time point once again. Now, it does look like there will be some new features that should be pretty cool about Windows 11. What they are? Yeah, let's take a look. So Microsoft is bringing a new centered start menu and taskbar design. They have new animations, iconography, sounds, and refreshed app designs. Sun Valley was actually the name that they were working on. And when they showed that before, it had things like widgets, improved window snapping, and even more. So it really does seem justified that Microsoft is shipping this as Windows 11. Some Microsoft documentation has also suggested that Microsoft plans to ship two versions of the 2.1 H2s this fall. One is based on Windows 10S Vibranium codename like version 2.1 H1 and version 2.0 H2. And another is based on Windows Cobalt. The latest version of the Windows code base that Sun Valley is expected to ship with on top of that. Now, many people thought that Windows 10 to Windows 11 would strictly be a software update, but that's not really what I think is going to happen. I mean, why would they have two different versions? Now they might, I mean, there's substantial reason to, to you know, actually do it, but I'm not really sure if they're going to do that. It would make more sense, to, I think, across the board to just release a whole new Windows environment like they've done in the past. Now. There are sites out there that have already got a hold and tested this ISO. And right now, since Windows 11 is really new, in a lot of the testing, Windows 11 seems slower than Windows 10. Now this could be for a lot of reasons. For one thing, usually every new OS that comes out is more hardware dependent, which means that you have to have a better and better system, more and more RAM, and everything else. So it would kind of make sense at this point in the game that Windows 11 would be slower than Windows 10. Now, how that's going to pan out in the long run, I'm not actually sure. I know that it will be really cool to see a new OS. Um, the start menu is pretty cool because it's going to be in a different location than it was before, but you can also move it around and make it look like Windows 10. One of the cool things that I thought about older operating systems is that I thought they were a lot easier to navigate. When Windows 10 first came out and I started working with it, it was like, whoa, this is a whole new animal. And it was like really trying to relearn the wheel all over again. Now, hopefully we're not going to see those same type of changes with Windows 11. What'll really be nice though is to see, you know, all the new stuff, new graphics, new rounded corners, just all kinds of cool things that are gonna be visually you know, exciting to the user. I mean, even when you're installing it, they've changed the way that it looks. 
I guess they just want you to have something pretty to look at when you're sitting there during the install process. But overall, it should just be an interesting launch all around. Are you looking forward to Windows 11? I mean, I think it should be pretty cool. What do you guys think? Are you gonna stick with Windows 10? or do you guys wanna upgrade? I'd love to hear your comments down below because right now it does seem like a pretty interesting thing is right around the corner. So I'm sure for everybody out there who is really excited, you're gonna wanna make sure that on June 24th, you check out the announcement from Microsoft. I mean, who knows exactly what they'll say and maybe we'll find out if there's going to be actually two versions of it that are going to be out there. One that you can just simply upgrade on top of your old system and one that you can buy and do a fresh install. For right now though, I'll have a link down below where you guys can check out that ISO. So if you want to try it out right now and check it out, make sure you do so. I'm going to install it on my laptop and see how it does and see how I like it. So that's today's video. Windows 11. It seems like it's real and I guess there's no stopping it now. Like usual, I'll have some links down below. I'll see you guys back here on the channel for more videos, so peace out, and uh, well, we'll just have to see where it goes from here.